South Florida. We're lucky to have easy access to fresh seafood, and yet experts say more than 90% of the nation's seafood is shipped from overseas. Megan McRoberts shows us a local partnership aimed at keeping the fish on your plate fresh, local, and traceable. There are millions of fish in the sea, yet experts say demand for seafood is greater than what the ocean can supply because of one thing, overfishing. That's where aquaculture, or fish farming, steps in. It's a way of growing fish in tanks to keep up with that demand. Our idea is to grow healthy, you know, natural fish. Um, it's just that they're being grown in tanks as opposed to in the ocean. Amy Zwemmer started her own fish farming business last year in St. Lucie County. Through Amy's Island Seafood, she's already raised about 3,000 cobia. They are a delicious white fish. <laughs> they are fast growing. Amy is partnering with FAU's Harbor Branch researchers to learn the best way to raise them quickly, but also in a humane way. Unlike some fish farms around the world, Amy's cobia are not fed antibiotics and they grow up in clean water. You know, people have heard in the news where the fish they think they're getting is not even the fish that they thought it was. More people than ever want to know what they're eating and where it's from. Amy knows her method of fish farming provides a serving of peace of mind. There's a lot of opportunity for expansion of aquaculture in St. Louis County. Harbor Branch research professor Paul Wills says research from Amy's Cobia could help grow the local aquaculture industry, promoting a lasting food supply and, more importantly, healthy eating. They come out of the tank this morning and they're on your plate tonight, so you can't get much fresher than that. Yeah. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.